viewers, thank you so much for watching ACN African Christian Network. We are right here at Maestro Caterers in the Bronx, New York, in celebration of Ghana independence and Ghana turning 60. There were so many fun activities organized in celebration of Ghana, and tonight is the climax, is a dinner dance. So many people came out to support people outside of Ghana, also came out to support so many entrepreneurs and so many dignitaries are out here. Stay tuned as they share their views on how far Ghana has come and how much fun they are having tonight. So I have the Ghana Consulate right here with me, Mr. Quanton. Now I want you to share with my viewers your entire view about Ghana turning 60. Ghana turning 60, as we, our president said, is one of looking ahead to greater times. Thus far, we've turned 60, but we can't say we have achieved all the things we want to achieve as a nation. So there is more work to be done. So it's not just a celebration. It is a time that we are looking at harnessing our efforts, pulling together resources, drawing synergies from the Ghanaian diaspora to build our nation. Because where we are today, as much as it is good, as much as we are the trailblazer in Africa. We know we are eagles and we have to be flying higher. So Ghana 60 gives us a time to reflect on the past and what we have to do to really get to where we want to be as a nation. Thank you. Thank you. So to my right is the permanent ambassador of Ghana, Mrs. Martha Ama Pobe. Now Mrs., I want you to share your views on Ghana turning 60. How far do you think the nation have come? The support that you have received from the Ghanaians and the diaspora. There's been many activities, many church service in celebration of Ghana turning 60. Now, what do you think about this entire celebration? Well, thank you very much. The, the, you're right, there have been a lot of activities that have been organized. But I think it shows how grateful Ghanaians are that God has brought us this far. So you have the religious services, the Muslim service, uh, the Muslim prayers, and of course the churches that came together to do an interdenominational service, offering prayers to God and thanking Him. Now, Ghanaians are naturally very proud of this achievement. And I can tell from everybody, those who are dancing, those who came to church. And we are grateful because the nation has gone through a lot. We've come very far. Now we are a thriving democracy. We have the respect for the rule of law, human rights. The economy, yes, is doing well. In spite of difficulties, we have hope that we can go far. We've had a successful change of government. This is an achievement that we should be proud of. And so I think that Ghana is actually on the verge of leaping forward. And uh, the spirit that I've sensed from even the Ghanaians here shows that people are ready to go forward to the next step. And I think the Ghanaians in New York particularly are a vibrant group. Very vibrant, as you can see back there. <laughs> Very vibrant. Um, in terms of the economic activity, the number of uh, entrepreneurs here in business, our engineers, our architects, our doctors, people working with the state of New York, everybody thinks there's a part they can play in this. And so we're looking forward to mobilizing that effort so that we see what we can take to Ghana. And we do have a diaspora engagement, we have an office, that handles all of these things back home in the ministry. Now the president's office has also set up a desk to engage the diaspora. So we are calling on all our Ghanaians, our brothers and sisters here, to take up the challenge and come forward through us, the embassy, to Ghana. And let's share what you have to offer. Let's bring it, and I'm sure that the government will take it on board. So I know last year, Ghana at 59 was very big. This year is extravagant. Next year, what should we expect next year? A little hint. I mean, this year is way big. I don't know if we can, you know, if we can top this. Well, I know 
time the Ghanaians in New York would always want a celebration. So we'll do everything we can to make sure that we mark the 61st one way or the other. At least we'll have the church service, we'll have the Muslim prayers, and hopefully, if there are resources, we'll have another bash like this. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, Mrs. Martha. It's always a pleasure talking to you. Thank you very much. Thank, thank you. you. So I have Cheryl Lapole to my left, who is the Sales Director and Development for South African Airways. They've been very supportive towards Ghana, and they're here to celebrate Ghana at 60. So Ms. Cheryl, I want you to share your views on why South African Airways have been super supportive of Ghana. Okay, well, South African Airways is very supportive of Ghana. We are delighted to be here for the 60th anniversary of independence. As you know, we're flying four days a week out of Washington, Dulles to Ghana. Uh, Western Africa has become an extremely important destination and a market for us. And hopefully, someday we hope to maybe expand into the New York market, but right now that's on the table. Uh, but clearly, we have a wonderful service, nonstop, and we are very, very supportive. We look forward to supporting any way we can the community, the outreach, and we appreciate all the support we get from the Ghanaians flying us to Ghana. Very good to know. I know it is on the table and you guys are planning on this, but please make sure you push it closer to New York because there is a condensed population of Ghanaians in New York that will fly out on South Africa Airways. We, we will do our best, but right now, right now, we're flying out of Dulles. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. So I am standing right in between the CEOs of Prestige Travel and Tour. I have Mr. Eddie and Nana Samoa here to share their views as Ghanaian entrepreneurs here in the States, and we're here celebrating Ghana as Sissy. What do you think of, as an entrepreneur, how far Ghana has come? Oh, Ghana has come a long way, and we are happy for Ghana at 60. With the new president, we know things are moving ahead. Right. Now, as an entrepreneur is here in the States, we're celebrating Ghana. How do you feel being one of the largest entrepreneurs supporting this event? I am so happy we've been supporting Ghana for the longest. And right now we are 60, we have come a long way. And I'm so happy we're contributing to this and we are enjoying today with everybody here. Thank you. Thank you. So now it's not just supporting it. Now it's time for you guys to enjoy the fruits of your labor. We can't wait to go to Ghana to celebrate it and we add a little bit whatever we're gonna do over there to go to Ghana and help the country too. Awesome. awesome, well thank you so much. So I have Dr. Musa here who's the General Secretary and the Council Member of the Yankasa Association. Now, I want you to share your views on Ghana turning 60. You know, the, the point of view from the association as a whole and what do you think, Ghana, how far Ghana has come? And there's been so many activities for Ghana turning 60. What do you think about that? Um, I think it's a great achievement. Uh, it's been a while and it's a journey and Ghana has done very well uh, regarding when you look at what happened for about let's say 20 years ago, 20 years back, Ghana has done so well. Uh, we have infrastructure in the, in the country and we've grown uh, in Ghana. A lot of uh, countries in Ghana are emulating us, so I think Ghana is in the right direction. Now today we came out here for dinner in support and in celebration of Ghana. What do you think about the turnout? When you turn around and you see how many people are here, how much fun people are having, all the good music and the good food, people coming together as one. Look at this beautiful young lady over here yeah. dancing. I mean, look at how beautiful she is. This is all the celebration of Ghana. What do you think about tonight? I think this is a wonderful occasion. Uh, it's an elegant scene, beautiful color. Everybody came with his own costume, very nice, presentable. Everybody in his dancing shoe. Every people are dancing and happy that Ghana has turned 60. This is a very beautiful occasion, occasion that we celebrate every year, yes. Yes, and if this does not portray unity, I do not know what else will portray unity. Well, thank you so much. You, you are so welcome. So to my right is Dr. Mwafu, who did the libation tonight in celebration of Ghana. Now, what do you think about this entire event? 
Uh, it's, it's, it's just incredible for us to recognize that Ghana is 60 years down the road. I think we owe it to ourselves to make sure that we continue on the trajectory and make Ghana one of the best places to live in Africa. Now, how far do you think Ghana has come and where do you see Ghana going in the next couple of years? I think Ghana could have done better, but having said that, I think there's incremental development and it's incumbent on all of us, everybody, to participate in the process so we can take it to higher heights where we all want Ghana to be. Now, everybody being involved in the development of Ghana, how can individuals sit at home or individuals with companies or working for other companies help in, de in the development of Ghana? I've always suggested that the Ghana can be built a block at a time. So any of us can be that block. In your village, you can help with the kids, give them clothing, help them with their homework, and that is what will form the basis of the country. And we expect that the government will create the right environment for entrepreneurs to flourish. And so when that environment exists, you see the potential in everybody, and the country will do well that way. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, Dr. Boafo. Thank you. So next to me is Dr. Fred Ansong Jamina, who's the Executive Secretary General of Nkonga. Now, I want you to share your view about Ghana turning 60. Well, thank you so much. I think um, we are happy that today is Ghana's uh, 60th Independence Day. And we are here to celebrate, to honor our forebears for their braveness, their sacrifices, uh, for setting us free. I think uh, it's important that we cherish what they did so we can also continue from there. Tell me the, your best moment since March 6 until now? Well, between now and um, it's a whole year program. So between now and March 6, we have other activities like football match, between other in Kogas, and also we have uh, business conferences. We have uh, Wear Ghana uh, Festival and other things. So it's a whole year program that we're going to go through that. And so you enjoyed every bit of it? Every little bit of it. You know, every parent has that one child they like most. That, so that one day or that special moment. Exactly. And uh, Which one is that? Well, the day that we were free from our presence. Awesome answer. Thank you so much. You're welcome.